so yes, I was featured background on Sugar, season one. What was cool was about it? Porn it was a it was a multitudinous of coolness because the director and cinematographer have worked together on a lot, a lot of things and are Oscar winners. Mm -hmm. So you got to be on a set run by Oscar winners, and you can tell. And I just I had a moment. I was James Cromwell's head gardener. So there's a, a moment where he's talking to me about something he wants to have done with the garden, gardening stuff. And Colin Farrell comes walking up and he tells me I can leave so he can talk to Colin privately. And Cromwell was awesome. I mean, I got to, I didn't get to interact with Colin Farrell. I got to be with him on set the whole day and see him, but we never had any interaction. Cromwell had a lot of interaction. We tell, he, he asked questions. He like didn't have to do that. But when we were waiting for shots, he's like, so. How long have you been acting? What, what did you do? Da, da, da. And he was, he was really cool. Nice. And his his stand-in, his stand-in has worked with him for almost 30 years. And whenever Cromwell gets a part, his first call is to his stand-in buddy to say, we booked another one. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. You got to, uh, that's uh, that's where you got to get in. Yeah, that's absolutely. He's been working, security. been work every time Cromwell's on set, he's his stand-in. I wonder who Rajakhan's stand-in is. He doesn't need a stand-in. Stand-ins need Rajnikanth. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Juice! <laughs> hey, welcome back to our Stupid Acts with Corbin. I'm James Cromwell. False names, Graham, Twitter, porn, juicy content. Thank you to sports on Patreon. Follow us to the account. like button. Oh, yeah, James Cromwell. Colin Farrell. James Cromwell. Colin Farrell's just... He's going to have now... Two series going at the same time he's got to work on, plus the oh. films he wants to do. Man. Uh, you going to so, watch Penguin? No. Uh, Anurag really? chats with Vatri Manan and Sai Palvari. Oh. On or Eruvu from uh, Pava Gadegal. We've already reacted to the trailer of this Tam Tamil anthology uh, four years ago. This is okay. by far the best anthology out of India. Okay. This person's opinion. Uh, this is a short chat between Anurag, Vatri Manan, and and Sai Palvi with Anyurag is conveying his phrases All right. for Jumanji. So this Kirk. is one of those things Anyurag's getting his voice behind because he thinks it's worthy. Yeah, he just per I, I was just seeing something that uh, a film that he's now presenting. I don't know what it is. You guys can tell me. Uh, it's apparently very, very good. No shock. Yeah, not a shock. If, if it's Anyurag yeah, likes it, it's usually. Uh, um, yeah, let me know what that is. I just heard saw something about it. I, I don't remember exactly what, though. Here we go. Congratulations, Wait, I think I think this Thank is your you. most poignant work, including all your feature films. But for me, I have not been so impacted and moved in such a long time. I also that takes say that five I years think to this is one of shoot your, a movie. For me, it was it is completely one of your best works because there's a constant consistent growth in all your body of work. But this is so assured and so confident in the sense that it looks like it's been put together and i'm seeing it the way it was shot where's the origin from because by the end i feel it, the origin is a true story yeah we all know that there are so many uh, such uh, uh, stories and cases all over the country and uh, this is one story that i've always wanted to uh, explore like you know what would a parent go through or what would be the the psyche of a person who do something like this and and what is the role of the so-called uh, society the the family the, the extended family the relatives in such a such an act so that is something that i wanted to explore as you said this is the only film where my first edit was 36 minutes or something and the final edit, what we see is like some 30 minutes. So I did not have much to find as a, 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 a on the edit table and then no much dubbing corrections. Whatever that was spoken was uh, uh, dubbed in the I dubbing the also. Guy films. So very little to find as a, as a film. Mm. I'm, uh, Sai, this is, I, I, like, I'm not very familiar with a lot of body of your work, but what an extraordinary performance talk about it I, how, how did you like you know what what did you evoke inside of you what, <laughs> so you thank you what so was your much. emotional state of mind oh i was traumatized betty sir kept checking on me he asked if i was doing well i had physiological reactions in me 
it was so hard i kept uh, i was feeling so nauseous the whole time so it it had a huge impact on me but while i was shooting uh, generally i'm aware of the dialogues and all that and then i get into the set but there uh, vetri sir asked us to come into the set and then he gave us the lines and all of that so uh, it was like we were starting from scratch it was all organic and we felt every word we said at times even when i didn't feel an emotion his dialogue over there would make me cry for hours uh, there was this one single dialogue where he'll say uh, dad am i not your favorite so that one yeah. is a very simple thing but i pictured myself and my dad and then it hit me really hard so i kind of <laughs> did that every now and then and i think there was a lot of um, i've never heard uh, 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 I think built in a lot of uh, emotions that I had uh, uh, avoided for a very long time which came out at this point because Vetri sir and all of you have uh, you are able to articulate your thoughts and you're able to put it in a nice way and you're able to say it across when there is something going on say uh, 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 anything that is politically uh, relevant and all of that you're able to say it the right way but I had all of this I knew it was not right and this was inhuman I think this was my way of expressing it and how um, I felt about this whole thing. More than that, what is so incredible with the film is the way it draws in a whole society. It's between the father and the daughter. The way it is built up, a sense of uh, honor that's built up, which is so all pervading in the society. So when mm -hmm. you see them sitting together, it's also like a close knit family. At the same time, there's this sense of honor that's coming from outside. Everything makes sense to Prakash Raj. So I'm saying it's like a man who understands what the wife is saying, who understands all those things. So I, till the end, don't know it's an emotional call or it's a practical call. Who is he doing it for? It presents a picture of a society as a whole which is traumatizing. And in that you have to live normally. So those various <laughs> dynamics between various actors and everything, the way it's done, so talk about the process. Uh, for me, the, the whole idea of the father trying to bring in things to justify his act. As an actress, when you're do, picking up a film like this and how many things that you want to say, talk about, and you feel like you go unheard. My childhood, I've been brought up uh, uh, with this thought saying that uh, when you grow up, you need to marry a badga. You cannot marry outside your caste. Up until now, so even now, my dad was telling me, Palavi, worst case scenario, I, I, I'm, I think I'm okay, but then let's just go with the barga. So there are so many things which are going on around me. And it's not like we are um, from, a, we are still in the village, but because we are from a tribe and they want to maintain the same culture that they once had, I realize that in the name of culture, we shouldn't be, uh, uh, we shouldn't lose our humanity. The whole film is about one moment because many times when we make feature films yeah. about many things. So this film is about one thing and in that one thing to have that confidence to slowly take us in there. Congratulations. This is like so, I'm, I'm looking forward Thank to you. other people's reaction when it comes out. So Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. You, I, I wish yeah. Prakash Thank Raj you. was also here. Please compliment him from my side. It's so incredible. Yeah, I will definitely, I will definitely tell that to him. <laughs> Thanks for talking about the film, sitting with us and sharing your thoughts, Anurag. Thank you so nice meeting you, Sai. Thank you, sir. Pleasure is all mine. You have no idea. I'm so happy that you love the film. Thank you so much. I want to see the film. I love Anurag's love for film. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, yeah Anurag. I know a bunch of people like that that are just, they're so obsessed with just cinema. Um, yeah. Like, even different than than how we like cinema. They're just like... They sit down. They watch a movie. Then in the morning, then in the evening, they'll watch another movie and they'll. I can do talk, that. Talk about it with friends and Tom Cruise does that. Um, but like you can see the people that like are so obsessed with it and like their love and affection for it just oozes out when they see something that they love. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you guys. I have get seen that, that way. Obviously, when we've reviewed yeah. stuff, right? <laughs> uh, when we, I see something, I mean, just if you're my two most recent, most especially. Uh, Ripley, mm, yeah, it's just. Um, I've not heard about this film. Though. Is it a short film? I'm guessing it's only. You said thirty minutes. He right? said it was thirty minutes. Yeah. Um, I love. Uh, I also love how this is. Um, Vatari <laughs> makes films. Man, he's just allowed to. Uh, do, he he's is just allowed to do whatever he wants. I've never seen seriously. A, I've never seen a director be allowed to just do whatever, whatever the, heck. the heck he wants. And the producers like, all right, man. 
<laughs> Truly. It's that's why at that round table everybody was looking at him with their jaw open. I've never I've it's like, never who's heard your producer? Before. It's really remarkable. Um it's not coming up. I don't know what this film is though. Um have any of you seen this? And what's the verdict? Yeah, uh, it's an anthology. So is it one that would be Well, good? that's why. Okay, gotcha. Maybe that's why. His good. segment. His segment's 30 minutes. Yep. Okay. His segment is one of the four. That yeah. makes sense. What's the best anthology we've seen? Hmm. Lust Stories was great. That's think, the one that first that immediately comes to mind. I think the original three is were Lust all Stories. really good, right? Lust Stories, yeah. uh, Ghost Stories, and then what was the other one? Oh, and, Bombay and, Talkies. Yeah, and and we like like Ghost Stories, liked some more than others, but on the whole, it was it was good. Yeah, it was, they're all better. But than I think Lust, Stories, too, Lust yeah. Stories is probably my favorite of the anthologies. I feel like we're forgetting one from somewhere else. This is a Tamil one. Have we seen a Tamil anthology before? I don't think so. I think all of our all of our anthologies are Hindi. I feel like we're missing some though. Um, but regardless. Um Yeah, why do I feel like there's one more, but it's Hindi? Yeah. Anyway. I like anthologies though. I do too. Wait, was that one? When she was saying, I'm coming, Shah Rukh Khan, on the bike at the end. That was an anthology. What was that? That's the one we're thinking of. Yeah, she's in Mumbai. Mumbai. And we loved it. Mumbai Diaries or something like that? Is that it? I think so. Yeah, it's something that's like that. That's the one. It's something like that. Yep. Um, that's the one. Uh, yeah, I love Sai. Obviously, this was probably towards the be more beginning yeah. of her. I'm sure Anya is well aware of her now. Now, yeah. Because this was like during most COVID, people. clearly. Yeah. Um, in 2020. So you guys have to let us know if it's one that would be a worth a gander for us. Um, to watch. What's she up to? She's a very good actress. She, she has is. such a sweet look to herself. Yeah, and That's she's good. always very, very believable. She has an untitled comedy horror movie coming out. Everybody's making a comedy horror movie now. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Um, oh! Oh, Push Put 2, that's right. Yeah. Gargi was her last? Interesting. I wonder if COVID kind of, uh, well, it was kind of after COVID a little bit. But that would delay stuff, obviously. Yeah. Oh, she was in something Love Stories. Is it Love Stories? Was that the mm -mm, That's just anthology? a single standalone movie called Love Story. No. Yeah, I don't know. Um, ah, there it is. That's it. Yeah, because uh, Prakash Raj is right there. Is that Kalki? Yeah, that is Kalki. Kalki Kaklin? Yep. That's why Ani Rag watched it. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite things I ever told us to in an interview. What are you looking for in an actor to regulation? Yep. Not a husband. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> one of the best things ever been ever said. said. Uh, and, uh, and I love that we've interviewed Pava Kadhegal. Have you seen it? And is it still on Netflix? Looks like it's a Netflix film, so probably. Uh, yeah, sometimes yeah. they they pull stuff out of there. So, yeah, how is it? Yeah, is it one that would be worth a gander for us? Um, let us know. Uh, anything else about it? And any other interviews we can react to? Yeah, down below. Josh!